Hello friends. I hope you all are doing well. It is the season of love. I love Valentine's Day so much. I love all the pinks and the purples and all the hearts everywhere and giving everyone I love cute little gifts. Speaking of gifts, that is why we're here today. You guys seem to like my other two crochet gift idea videos. So I have scoured the internet once again and I have found, I don't even know how much, 40 something <laughs> free patterns that you can make for your loved ones or for yourself this Valentine's Day. I love a good self-care day on Valentine's Day. Excuse me, sir. All right, let's get it going. I did separate this into categories. Oh wait, before we begin, I need to make it very clear. These patterns are linked in the description. Okay, they're in the description. There are timestamps, so if you're coming back to this video, and you need to find which pattern you were looking for and you don't want to scroll through everything, there are timestamps there. So all you have to do is click the little number and it'll take you to that part of the video. And then the patterns are linked right beside the timestamps. So if you're wondering how to find these patterns, that's how you can do it, just to get that out of the way. <laughs> all right, so the first category we have is decor. One of the best things about holidays is decorating your house. So you know I have to have some decor stuff in here. Is there much better than a good garland, really? <laughs> First up, this is the Valentine's Hearts Crochet Garland. Super cute. It is by The Knotted Nest. Got some little pom-poms on there. Very cute. Next up in the kitchen department, in case you're making some really cute little pies or cookies, these Heart Crochet Tea Towel Topper Patterns. Say that a lot of times really fast. I think it'll be fun. <laughs> this is by Stitching Together. I'm a sucker for decorative pillows. Gen Z, fellow Gen Z are talking here. We need to get more into decorative pillows, okay? Grandma Core is in for a reason. I can't be ranting too much in this video. Anyway, this is a really cute pillow pattern. Um, heart pillow pattern, very self-explanatory, by Spin A Yarn Crochet. It has, you know, the little, little doily guys on the end. Very cute, I will probably make this one. Next up is the Heart Nesting Baskets. This is by Blackstone Designs. These would be, hi Miles. Oh, don't show them your butt. Uh oh. These would be super cute if you were having a little Valentine's party or a Galentine's thing to just put on the table with some candy in it. Oh, I love Valentine's. This next one is another crochet heart basket. Once again, also called heart basket crochet pattern. This one is by Hooked on Patterns. And I included this one too, cause it has like this cute doily edge. It is optional in the pattern, but I think it's really cute. And you can probably kind of mash those two patterns together and make the multiple sizes with the little doily around it. Okay, <laughs> going back to pillows. Listen, this is, this is big. This is one of my favorite ones on here. This is the to girl. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my mouse through this whole video. Okay, this blog is called Once Upon a Cheerio, which is a very fun name. This is the Candy Heart Pillow pattern. And I mean, it's a simple candy heart, but it looks like you use cross stitching, maybe? You use some kind of surface technique to just write whatever you want on there. The possibilities are so endless. <gasps> Ooh. You could go basic, you could go classic, you could go, you could go not safe for work. Okay, next up. This is another garland. This is, speaking of conversation hearts, a conversation heart garland. Does anybody actually like eating conversation hearts because they just, they're just chalk, I think, right? This pattern is by Twinkie Chan and it uses felt to put the letters on which I uh, got a little mixed media action in there. And you can also just write whatever you want on there, you know? Make it crazy. Go a little wild. Another garland, I mean, come on. Come on. This is the XOXO Crochet Garland by Sarah Faith Crafts. And I mean, self-explanatory, XOXO Garland. Hugs and kisses all around. Another garland? <laughs> I forget what I saved in here, hold on. Oh, just kidding, I saved the same one twice. Okay, if garlands aren't your thing, then I have a little wall hanging. Can have fun with some color work here. This is the Make Something Sweet. Wait, 
<laughs> the headline is make something sweet the free cute hearts wall hanging crochet pattern i think it's divine debris but all i could read was divine debris <laughs> i really hope it's divine debris and last but not least in the decor we have another pillow okay once again creatively named as the crochet heart pillow this is by Jen Hayes Creations. And once again, it has the cute little ruffles. I love the little ruffles. And this one also has a little pocket on the back, which I think is also very grandma core. I had so many hand-me-down pillows with like little pockets or like little photo things on the back. So you stick a photo in there, stick a love letter in there. You could stick your phone in there maybe. Oh, you could stick your phone in there while you like FaceTime somebody. That'd be kind of cute. Also side tangent. And I'm gonna let myself have this tangent because it's a gift ideas video, technically, and we're talking about people you love. So if you are a mother or a parent or a child or somebody, I mean, I guess that's everybody, either a parent or a child of someone. When I was younger, like preteens, my mom had this pillow in her room and we had this special journal where I don't even think I really utilized it, but the concept was if I had like an embarrassing question or something or I needed help with something and I couldn't verbalize it, I would write it down in the journal and then put it in her pillow. You know, she could feel if it was there, she could write me an answer and then she would put it back under my pillow. And I think that's a really sweet idea, you know, because not everybody can verbalize their questions and stuff. Especially if you got, you know, the tism or another developmental disorder. But anyway, tangent over. I'm bringing it up because this pattern would be really cute if you implemented that with your child or if you wanted to start doing that with your parents. I have a little dedicated heart pillow with a little journal holder in the back. Anyway, okay, that's it for decor. Okay, now we're on to amigurumi. I really hope I'm saying that right. That's how I've been saying it my entire life. So if I'm saying it wrong, tell me, I guess. <laughs> this first one makes me very happy. So this is Valentine's Day cat crochet pattern by Amigurumi Today. And I mean, look at him. He's got his little, little butt and his little feet. So cute. Wow. Oh. It'd probably be best as an ornament. I don't think it could stand on its own, but I mean, come on, the little booty. Ooh. Okay, moving on. I started off too strong, maybe. All right, this next one is a box of chocolates by Anaris, I think. Amigurumi food, oh, it's, by, it's on amigurumifood.com. Just a cute little box of chocolates and you can put eyeballs. You know what? This would be a good cat gift, you know? Put some catnip in the, in the chocolate thing. Obviously not real chocolate, <laughs> but put some catnip in there. And then when they're done playing, you can put them back in the box and they can live there and it'll be really cute. <gasps> Ooh, I'm getting so excited. It probably doesn't look like it on my face. I kind of look like I'm about to cry. You guys look like you're about to cry when you're having a great time. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This one's just kind of more classic. It's just a Bernat. I've been saying Bernat, but I think it's Bernat. I don't know, the Lady of Joanne's had me a little scared. I think it's Bernat. This Bernat Velvet Valentine crochet bear. I love this yarn. It's really fun to play with. Yeah, just a classic little bear. Very cute. This one we got some more sweets. I don't really like macarons, but I know some people really, really like macarons. So this is a crochet hard macaron. And it is pronounced macaron, not macaroon. Even though I don't like them, I will still bring that up anytime it is applica applicable. 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 Yes. I sound like someone who knows words. <laughs> this pattern is by Crochet For You. Could be another cat toy. Could just be a sweet little treat. Sweet little gift. Okay, this next one is so cute. It's so cute. These crochet strawberry hearts by The Magic Loop. And I mean, look at this, it's so cute. And you could, there's a little blush. And they're in hearts and they're strawberries. I'm really excited about hearts, I think. <laughs> okay, this one is really cute, and I feel like we all have someone in our lives who really, really loves owls, or at least we did 10 years ago when it was very popular to love owls. I was that friend, and now I have, 
probably 10 owl mugs still in my cupboard because that's all that my friends would give me. So if you know an owl person, I'm sure they will love this owl always love you Valentine's caddy crochet pattern. It's just a little guy, you know, and it has a little heart belly. So you can put your little Valentine in there, throw some candy in there. Very cute. I love when like the vessel for things is also a gift. Oh, the owl is by Holly's Hobbies, by the way. And next up on Natalina Craft, we have a heart-shaped flower. I know less and less people are wanting live flowers because it just feels like waste. I personally am one of those people. Like, I love flowers, but I don't want to watch them die on my countertop. I'd rather just go see them in person or something. So you can make a little bouquet of these. You can make someone a little potted. A little potted flower. Back to the conversation hearts. We just have like, you know, a smaller one, okay? We have the garland, we have the pillows, and now we have an amigurumi, amigurumi candy conversation heart. This is on one dog woof. And they have it pictured as a keychain, which would be really cute, a fun little gift for your friends and stuff. But also, I don't know, it looks, they look fun to throw. That's all I have to say. If you guys come up with anything fun to write on conversation hearts, please put it in the comments. Okay, this next one is not very different from the heart flower that I just showed you. This is just a heart-shaped balloon pattern. This is on gathered.how. I feel like I would, uh, I already play with this stupid skeleton hand that I got at the dollar store all the time. So if, so if I just made like a big heart wand, I think I would be unstoppable, actually. Hee <laughs> hee! These are so cute. Okay, next up, this one is on Yarnspirations, which has a bunch of fun free patterns. It says to use Lily, Sugars, and Cream. I always say that with so many S's. Lily, Sugar, and Cream. Not Lily's Sugars and Creams. So this is a Love Bug version one. And like, they don't look like bugs. They look like like somewhere between an anatomically correct heart and a cartoon heart. They just look weird and I love them. They got that charm, you know? And they would make really good cat toys, I think. As long as you secure those legs on really tight, I think cats would really love this. Ooh, this one is so cute too. This is a crochet hedgehog pattern by Crochet to Play, which is fun to say. I mean, it's just a little guy. It's a little hedgehog. And then the little note that says, I'm stuck on you. I mean, they already wrote the Valentine for you. And you can probably just like not make the heart if you want to make it a, regu reg a regular, <laughs> a regular hedgehog. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so... Oh, it's probably the giant coffee I'm drinking. This is a... Q pig. It's a Q pig. <laughs> this is also on Yarn Inspirations. I like that they tell you what yarn to use for it. Also, if you go on Yarn Inspirations, it gives you the option to buy the yarn that you need right underneath the pattern. So if you need to buy yarn and a pattern, Yarn Inspiration is pretty good. But this guy is free. He's f he's free. <laughs> Those eyes are seeing into my soul. I mean, what else can I say about him? It's adorable. I would also like to throw him at someone. Next up is a Valentine's bunny. <laughs> this is on Elisa's crochet. I, I don't know, I really like this stylized version of a bunny. I haven't seen anything like this before. And the heart is really cute. And once again, you don't even have to make the heart if you just wanna make a regular bunny. That's fine. Right. I'm not, I'm not uh, making the rules. Next up, I... I don't like monkeys, okay? I think they're creepy. And they also just make me sad because they're like, they're so intelligent, but like they have no rights. It opens up a whole moral dilemma every time I see a monkey. But anyway, I know people like monkeys, so <laughs> this is the monkey amigurumi crochet pattern. And this one is interesting because it's not done in the round like an amigurumi. I don't know if it even counts as an amigurumi at this point, but it's pieces that are sewed together, so it's kind of like a flat style. I actually really like this for like ornaments and things, 
So I don't really know what this is to be used for, maybe as like a wall hanging or something. I don't know, but it's holding a little heart and it's very cute. So if you have some monkey fans in your life, you know what to do. This next one is also a great little Valentine's and candy holder. It's the Quick Valentine Candy Gram Animal free crochet patterns, because there's more than one. This is by, I think it's just DIY Magazine. And they have a bunch of different patterns. You can make like dinosaurs, cats, bunnies, unicorns it looks like. Maybe I'll make all of my coworkers one of these. Maybe. I have to keep in mind that I only have two weeks. Fun little reminder that you only have two weeks, by the way, if you're watching this right when it comes out. This is another thing that could be like a little keychain or a little cat toy as long as it's secure. It's a Crochet Heart Angel by Crochet For You. It's just cute, a little heart with wings. I feel like that's uh, like a trendy motif right now. I feel like I already did this one. These heart-shaped cookies, they're just kind of like frosted cutout kind of cookies, different from the macarons. And this is by Crafty Anna or Crafty Anna. Self-explanatory, very cute little cookies. And this next one, I didn't put it in decor because, because I don't know why, that's because. I think these are smaller than pillows would be, but these are ruffle hearts. So yeah, I don't know, I have no excuse. This is on a blog lovin. Is a pillow just a plush? This next category is just like hearts like just hearts or Valentine's y applique. I've never said this word out loud. App appliques. App it's right here. You know what I'm talking about. Things that you can like sew onto other things or are just flat shapes, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean with these. So first up, this is part of the just hearts part of this. Just Crochet Puffy Hearts by, and I love this name, Repeat Crafter Me. It uses that same just like two flat shapes sewn together and then stuffed technique, which I really like the look of. And for our next heart, these are actually coasters by Hooked on Patterns. And I was just about to say it's like a symmetrical heart, but I'm pretty sure every heart on this thing is symmetrical. Next one, this is more for my millennials out there. I'm also almost one of you, so I'm talking to you right now. If you didn't like the owls, <laughs> you will probably like the pizza hearts. Am I right? I personally am not the biggest fan of pizza, but I know just like owls, there are some hardcore fans out there. So this is the pizza heart applique, applique, applique. <laughs> you guys will have to bully me on that in the comments. But this is by Golden Lucy Crafts. It has pepperonis, but you could probably wing it with the toppings. This next one is called A Valentine's Heart for You by Stone Gnome, which is a little bit hard to say. And it's just kind of like, you know, a hollow heart with a, I do love the ruffles on the outside. They also include a way to attach them to make it like a table runner or a wall hanging or something or a bookmark. Okay, this next one. This one is like the most trendy heart. I mean, you know what I mean if you're looking at these, right? Like this is a this is a trendy pattern right now. So this is the swirly heart, and it just says Addies on the website A T T Y. It looks really easy to make. You can make a garland out of this. You can make ornaments. You can throw them in your all of your Valentines. You know. Next up, this is also a coaster. We have the the boho heart coaster by Stitching Together. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty cute. This next one is a heart dishcloth pattern, apparently. It is by Nastasia. Some cute little striping on the outside, quite like candy cane. Okay, this one? This one's very, very cute. We've got a snail with a little heart shell by Golden Lucy Crafts. I would love to receive a little snail valentine. This one is a little more corny, but I still love it. This is also by Golden Lucy Crafts. It is a key to my heart. If you're a fan of the puns or of the being cheesy, this is for you. And then lastly, we have this fancy little heart. Oh, Discord, hello. We have this fancy little heart called the Danish heart that is kind of, you know, weaved and such by Handmade by Rain. And this one has some fun texture. It looks a little hard. Oh, I didn't. 
I didn't even realize it's actually a purse. So I'm sure you can make just the heart itself, but you can also attach them and make the cutest little purse I've ever dang seen. And our last category of the day is just miscellaneous gifts and such, you know? Things that I didn't feel like making a category for. So first off is <laughs> to go in your very cute kitchen that's about to get even cuter is these heart-shaped pot holders, also with the little doily fringe on the side. This is by Blackstone Designs. You might want to be careful with these because, I mean, people are going to be using it to handle hot plates, I'm assuming, hot pans and such. So you want to make sure it's thick enough to not burn your friends. <laughs> Remember when I said that I love vessels as part of the gift? These are Valentine's Envelopes by Crochet to Play. They got a little heart stamp. You can throw some candy in there, throw your valentines in there. It's so cute. It could also probably fit a gift card. Oh, speaking of gift cards, actually. I did also save a heart envelope uh, that's just a little bit different. And it's specifically made for a gift card and it just has a bigger heart on the front instead of the little heart stamp. And this is by Heather Corinne Crochets. And then next up, mug cozies are also such a versatile gift, you know? So this is the I Heart You Mug Cozy, which is some little, uh, some bobble or puff stitch or whatever action going on. Very sweet. You could pair it with some coffee or hot chocolate or something like that. Complete gift alert. This is by, I don't know how to pronounce this, Hawkmar Rock. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then this one, you might have seen this on TikTok or something. I've seen it many places and I can't remember what the context was. But this is almost a gag gift, but I feel like there are people who would actually use this. This is called a hand-holding smitten mitten. <laughs> this particular pattern is by Nikki's Homemade Crafts. You can probably find some more patterns for these, but it's really just two mittens sewn together so that you can hold your partner's hand through the mitten. And I think it's really cute. It's very corny but I really, I really love it. It's amazing. I feel like that's the level that people expect handmade gifts to be, so. This one is a Valentine's Granny Square vest, and I included this one because it's so square-ular, you know? And if you're making it for someone, I feel like it would be really easy to make one that fits as opposed to an entire sweater or something that's more shaped. That would be kind of hard to fit if you're giving it as a gift. And this is by Hey Hey Crochet. I think it's really sweet. I am very excited about this one. I hope someone makes these. This is a fortune cookie pattern. So you can, I mean, you can do it in any color for any other holiday too, but just put a little, you know, cute little message in there. This pattern is by Traverse Bay Crochet. I think like putting little notes and stuff in there would be cute, but also just like as a couple or as friends or roommates or something, or even just for yourself, you know, you could just have like a big jar of these little things with things in them. You could do like bucket list stuff or date ideas or just like self-care night like you can have little different prompts in there that'd be really cute just saying all right this purse is just so cute i love granny square stuff too but this is a mini heart granny stitch tote bag it's so small and so adorable it's by heart sprinkle amazing love this purse in every way and last but not least we have the valentine's tic-tac-toe on the go which is super cute it'd be a great like valentine's gift for kids i kind of wish they made it x's and o's because that is like you know valentine's day i'm sure you could improvise but you know it all fits in this little pouch that's also the board okay my camera's dying so let's hurry it up thank you for listening to all of these crochet ideas for valentine's day that i so kindly curated for you all if you decide to make something from this list let me know what you're going to make I would love to see your finished product on Instagram. My Instagram link is also in the description. I don't use it very often, but I'm trying to get on there more and interact with everybody. So show me what you make. Tell me what your fun plans are for Valentine's Day. And yes, you can celebrate it even if you're not in a relationship, okay? Valentine's Day is for love. If you think there's only one type of love, you are, you are so mistaken and I'm so sorry. 
Did you guys see my little heart? Anyway, okay. Thanks for sticking around. Subscribe for more crochet ideas and for more crochet... Thank you.